On Drives are precision manufacturers of gears, gearboxes and engineering components. On Drives designs gears from scratch. Uh, we also uh, take drawings from customers and projects on board from customers to help with design or achieve what the customers are looking for uh, from what their uh, drawings require. Well, on Drives is a family company, it's uh, gone back to the 40s with the original founders. Uh, me personally, around about 30 years. Uh, but uh, uh, we have uh, a number of people in the f in the company that have uh, a range of skills and knowledge in in gears, uh, in a lot of the different methods of gears and gear cutting, gear grinding, gear design. So it's just a, a collective uh, of a lot of years of knowledge in lots of different areas and expertise and specialities that can help customers uh, when they're looking for. Uh, say a, a project to do or uh, a design to be uplifted or uh, improved on or just uh, you know a, a repeat of something they've had previously. With this design department and the design engineers we have in the background here uh, we're able to support our customers with a variety of expertise uh, for the spurs, helicals, spiral bevels, cut gears, ground gears, worms and wheels with our uh, uh, standard that we have which is AS9100 RevD uh, and the software that we've invested in SolidWorks for the CAD package, uh, Kissoft which is for the gear design, Gems, Gleason Gems which is spiral bevel which is very specialist software for spiral bevels, high points in the areas of uh, automotive, military, medical, uh, aerospace, um, semiconductor, where you've got pick and place machines, little robotics which are going around the floor which will use our product. The investment we've made in the software, the people, and with the knowledge of the people there, we're able to produce it on the equipment that we've got to a very high, high degree of quality. We are now in the, the manufacturing area of the company and with the variety of technological machines that we have here, uh, probably starting with the Mazak Megaturn, which is a, a 900 capacity machine, able to do forgings and billets up to three tons in weight to eight and 900 millimeters diameter. Unbelievable amount of features on there that we're able to turn mill that are not possible on uh, very simple two axis lathes in that sort of size. Going on to the the other Mazaks we have, the i500 and the i300 AWC pallet machine, which is simultaneous five axis, is well used on our uh, aluminium gearbox casings for our gearbox production. It allows us to get uh, very high degrees of accuracy, able to get to the five uh, sides of any casing and produce pole tolerances and positional uh, tolerances to very tight limits. And that feeds back, back into quality Product, products uh, on the gearboxes where they're higher quality, smoother, more accurate. Then going on to our uh, other areas, the citizen sliding heads where we can uh, use this for high volume production uh, in our gear side of it for our worms or caps for our gearboxes, but also uh, a good a product area for us is our stainless steel shoulder screws which are uh, high, high accurate uh, threaded fasteners that are you know that we're able to do in uh, special sizes and features that customers can't get normally from other people but also just a decent product. Then going on to uh, our Gleason 280G spiral bevel grinder, the closed loop system is on that. So we designed the, the bevel teeth, uh, machine the product on there, ground from solids, then measure it, any deformities in there, any slight errors. Uh, you know, it's out a few microns on the tooth topology, they're taken care of, remachine it, it's within a couple of microns on the tooth topology, they run out and the pitch error is down to fours and threes, produce a fantastic product. So the Student Kellenberger in our diameter and OD ball grinding, where we can achieve uh, high accuracy finishes of uh, less than 0.3, usually about 0.2 RA, and on there we're able to grind to a five micron tolerance. So Say for an example, a six millimeter diameter, we can grind to plus or minus two and a half microns and maintain that over a period of time. Let me concentrate now, Ben, on the Gleason 
grinding machine. Now this is a specialised machine which is producing the gears to extremely tight tolerances. Can you give me some examples of how this is achieved and how you can dress the wheels to create different teeth shape? Yes, well with this machine it's uh, a very modern machine. Uh, it's got a lot of features on here that help us with our the gear designs that are coming in from our customers and where we're implementing things ourselves. And what this is able to do is get to very high accuracies, uh, DIN 4s, DIN 3s on profile and pitch. But what's even better on this machine is that we can control different features on it. So for tip relief or root relief or root features, we're able to adjust those to what customers want. If they want uh, biases or crowning or an asymmetrical gear where you've got a modification on one side but not the other, uh, we're able to hit those but also then uh, able to adjust when we're trying to hit a couple of microns uh, finish on it. So if it needs to, if it's out by two or three microns on a crown, and we can adjust for that. So we can take them from this machine, measure it on our Gleason inspection machines, bring it back on here. This has inspection features on it as well. Adjust that feature and then re-grind and you're getting a, a, a very accurate uh, gear that will uh, normally go for people that are wanting these where the super finished is uh, in turbines, motor racing, aerospace, military, uh, medical, a lot of a lot of different areas. Not just big gears. We can get up to probably about uh, I think 25 millimeter tooth depth on here, going up to 36 millimeter, but actually down to small ones, 0.5 mod. So 0.5 mod up to say 16 mod on here. It's safe to say that it's extremely complex and specialised gear that you are manufacturing gear at on drives. Now, you mentioned um, a, a loop system, a closed loop system. What does this mean? Well, the closed loop we use on our spiral bevel machine is where we design uh, the tooth itself on a spiral bevel with uh, the Gleason Gems technology that we have. And we use the FEA in that to, to give the customer either uh, the, the torque and the speed that he's looking for with the, you know, if it's a quiet, a, a quiet, smooth action he's looking for or a high torque application. And then th that is machined on the actual 280G itself. So it's ground from solid, heat treated, finished ground. Uh, but then the closed loop then also sends the information to our measurement machine. We measure it on there. And any differences from the base design that we've sent down to the actual grinding machine itself uh, just for so if the topology uh, on the heel or toe is slightly out by a few microns it can try and adjust itself to get as near and close to the design that the customer wants or we want as possible the same on this machine it's not closed loop on this gear grinding machine uh, but we have all the bells and whistles on the software side on these we we get all the anti-twist technology on here the root grinding technology uh, and it, the same on here you can actually closely ally this to the measurement machine so that you can actually get any adjustments closely down to a few microns tolerance, even down to the below micron tolerance on it. Moving into the inspection department with a closed loop system that we have for our spiral bevel gears, uh, using the uh, highly accurate uh, gear analytical machines, we're able to measure the gears, the profiles, the pitch errors uh, and the conformity to the design uh, of what the customer requires and then feed that back to the machine uh, in the closed loop for the spiral bevel so that it adjusts for the topology itself and its uh, tooth proportions uh, or on these which are closely spurs and helicals which are closely linked to the uh, gear inspection machines and the gear grinding machines which have its own probing on as well that can be tied extremely closely to get that micron accuracy. Apart from the Gleason inspection machine we see here is we have two. So we can go even larger than the 300 here. We can do 475 in the inspection department, millimetres diameter. But going larger than that we can use our uh, new scanning Mitchell Toyo CMM which can go up to approximately 850 millimetre diameter gear and do gear inspection on that. Uh, also, the other scanning machines that we have, uh, we have two Michitoyo CMMs that can verify bores, features, 
and with the scanning features on there, look at you know a bit more in depth detail at undercuts, grooves, and shapes. I hope you've had a, a good insight into us here at OnDrives. As a market leader in precision gears and manufacture, the quality of service and reliability that we offer and into the future is second to none and will carry on.